Today it's Steve Bannon. Let's see if he's going to get what's coming to him. If you like the video, I hope you will like it. And um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, wherever that is over here. And uh, thank you very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. You know, Steve Bannon, it, when you find out what his history has been like, you'll probably be amazed. So let's get right into it. I'll tell you what I know about Steve Bannon and pay attention to how he's changed over the years. Okay, so Stephen Kevin Bannon is a media executive, political strategist, and former investment banker and was Trump's chief strategist for only seven or eight months. Okay, he was arrested and charged with conspiracy con to commit mail fraud and money laundering regarding the We Build the Wall campaign. He enriched himself despite promising that all contributions would go to building the wall. Uh, he was pardoned by Trump before his trial date, and uh, his Twitter account was permanently suspended after suggesting that Anthony Fauci and Christopher Wray, the FBI, uh, should be beheaded. Uh, so, from the beginning, 1953, Stephen Kevin Bannon was born in Norfolk, Virginia on November 27th, so he's a Sagittarius. Uh, his mother was a homemaker, uh, his father was an AT&T telephone lineman and a middle manager, and uh, they were a working class family, pro-Kennedy, pro-Union, uh, Democratic family. The 1970s and 80s, Steve was an officer in the U.S. Navy for seven years on a destroyer in the Pacific Fleet. Uh, uh, then statewide, he was a special assistant to the chief of naval operations at the Pentagon, uh, handling uh, messages between senior officers and writing reports about the worldwide state of the Navy fleet. At the Pentagon, he attended Georgetown University and got a master's in uh, national security studies. More specifically for those years, in 1971, Steve graduated from a private Catholic military school in Richmond, Virginia, then attended Virginia Tech. He was the president of the student government, and uh, summers he worked at a junkyard. Uh, in 1976, he graduated from Virginia Tech with a bachelor's in urban planning. Now, 1980, Steve was deployed to the Persian Gulf uh, during the Iran uh, hostage uh, crisis. The mission's failure marked a turning point in his political worldview. He stated, and I'll say this as Bannon said it, which is um, includes some rude language. So hang on. He says, I wasn't political until I got into the service and saw how badly Jimmy Carter fucked things up. I became a huge Reagan admirer. Now, in 1983, in the Navy, he earned a master's in national security studies from Georgetown University uh, of Foreign Service. In, in 1985, Steve earned a master's of business administration with honors from Harvard Business School. And in 1987, he relocated from New York to L.A. to help Goldman Sachs expand their presence in the entertainment industry. After two years, he left as vice president. Now, in the 1990s, he became an executive producer in Hollywood and media producing or helping arrange financing for 18 films. Bannon and others from Goldman and launched a Goldman and launched a Bannon and Company, a boutique uh, investment bank specializing in media, uh, representing Westinghouse Electric, and negotiated the sale of Castle Rock to Turner Broadcasting. Um, instead of a fee, they accepted a financial stake in five TV shows, including Seinfeld. And uh, for which he still receives cash residuals uh, each time it's aired. Uh, each time it's aired. Uh, 1991, he produced Sean Penn's drama, The Indian Runner. 
1993, while managing Bannon and Company, he became acting director of the Earth Science Research Project Biosphere 2. I remember that. Uh, in Oracle, uh, Arizona, Arizona. He shifted the emphasis, emphasis from researching human uh, space exploration and colonization towards the study of Earth's environment, pollution, and climate change. All sounds good. Uh, 1995, he left the project, and in 1998, Bannon and Company was sold, and in 1999, he produced uh, Julie Tamor's film, Titus. Now, 2002 to 2003, Bannon became a partner at film and TV, at the film and TV management company, uh, The Firm Incorporated. Uh, 2004, he made a documentary about uh, the guy he previously admired, uh, Ronald Reagan, titled In the Face of Evil, so it was called In the Face of Evil. 2006, Bannon persuaded Goldman Sachs to invest in internet gaming uh, entertainment. Huh. The company was rebranded as Affinity Media. Okay, Affinity Media. 2007 to 2011, he was the chair and the CEO of Affinity Media, and he wrote an eight-page treatment for a documentary called Destroying the Great Satan. Uh, the Rise of Islamic Fascism in America. So that's a long name, Dest Destroying the Great Satan, The Rise of Islamic Fascism in America. It states that, driven by the best intentions, institutions like the media, the Jewish community, and government agencies were appeasing jihadists aiming to create, a, uh, create an Islamic Republic. 2008, Bannon says what turned him against the whole establishment was running companies in Asia and seeing that Bush had, and here's more of Steve's bad language, I'm just going to say it the way he said it, um, seeing that Bush, President Bush, had uh, fucked up as badly as Carter. The whole country was a disaster. I can see him saying that. Uh, 2010s, uh, Bannon was involved in financing and production of several films, including Fire from the Heartland, The Awakening of the Conservative Woman. So that's all one uh, title there. Then 2011, The Undefeated. And then 2012, Occupy Unmasked. Uh, 2012 through 2015, he received between $81,000 and $100,000 each year, working as an, an average of 30 hours a week. He was vice president of the board of Cambridge Analytica. That's a data uh, analytics uh, firm. And uh, they used l uh, illegal tactics to target American voters in the 2016 election, owned largely by the Mercer family that also co-owns uh, Breitbart uh, News. Okay, now 2012, after uh, Andrew Breitbart's death, Steve became an executive chair of the parent company of Breitbart, which then took an alt-right nationalistic bent. Uh, 2015, Bannon was ranked, ranked 19 on a list of the 25 most influential in political news media. He also hosted Breitbart News Daily on the Sirius uh, XM uh, radio uh, station, I guess it's called, or channel. 2016, he declared the website... Um, I wish the website is it. Must be Breitbart News Daily, perhaps. But he declared the website as the platform for the alt right, saying, We think of ourselves as virulently anti establishment, particularly anti the permanent political class. Then, 88 days before the presidential election, he was appointed chief executive of Trump's uh, campaign. He left Breitbart and uh, the Government Accountability Institute plus Cambridge Analytica. So all three of those, he's gone to take that job with Trump. Afterwards, Paul Manafort was dismissed because <laughs> he was in that place before. Uh, when Trump was elected, Bannon was appointed chief, strat chief strategist and senior counselor. And uh, he remarked, darkness is good, is what uh, Steve Bannon said. Dick Cheney, Darth Vader, Satan, that's power. That's power. Uh, it only helps us when they get it wrong, when they're blind to who we are and what we're doing. Very sinister. Uh, 2017, uh, Breitbart made Bannon executive chairman after the White House. In 2018, he stepped down as executive chairman. The Senate Intelligence Committee conducted an investigation of his campaign activities, including uh, knowledge that he had about contacts between Russia and campaign advisors George Papadopoulos and Carter Page, plus his role with Cambridge Analytica. And then the rest of Steve Bannon's history is equally or even more dark, so I just stopped reading about him. Okay, so The Witch's Tarot. You know, this is uh, by Ellen Duncan, and I'm not sure who actually publishes these cards. Um, illustrated by Mark Evans. I haven't done any, any research into it. and um, But, I mean, they're just an inexpensive little pack of cards that I bought on a whim. And I don't use them very much. 
Although I should. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the cards. I think they're probably a knockoff of something else. Uh, the uh, the cards themselves are very basic. They're easy to use. They shuffle nicely. I mean, there's a lot going for these cards, actually. And then the depictions on them, I don't know if you'll be able to see them that well because they're kind of small cards, and I'm not sure about the distance uh, between the camera and the table for this uh, these little cards. But, I mean, they're nice pictures. They're thoughtful. Someone is... Uh, they has put a lot of intention into making these represent uh, the symbols that they should. So um, I don't tend to give these the credit they, they deserve by not using them enough. And um, so I hope I change that, but probably I won't. Uh, I spread the cards out like this so that you can see them. And I used to always want to see more of the cards that readers were using uh, when I was just viewing videos. And also it's a good way to get people's energy into the cards. If you're doing a reading, you can let them spread it out if they don't want to shuffle. So there you go, which is tarot. Okay, I thought this deck would be perfect for this subject. And I don't use them very much, so this is a good opportunity. They're a little small, so what I'm going to do is try to remember to, to hold them up closer to the camera before I lay them down so that you can see them really well. So, Steve, Bannon, Steve, Bannon, Steve, Bannon, Steve, Bannon. I want to say, I guess let's just go right to the point of uh, what's going on now because the um, uh, January 6th uh, commission that's investigating uh, that insurrection of the 6th has issued a subpoena for, for uh, information Bannon has and uh, it looks like he's trying to claim executive privilege which of course didn't apply because he was only there for six or seven or eight months at the beginning. Um, so let's see, what, what, what can we ask? I'm going to start out with a small few cards and just say, will Bannon um, have to um, give the January 6th committee uh, any, any information he has? Just three cards to begin with. So one, two, three. Will Bannon have to release information he has to the uh, commission? First card for this ah, is the chariot. You know, the chariot uh, speaks to things happening at a rapid pace. So that's been the question because um, what's happened is when folks have decided to hold information back on these uh, congressional subpoenas, they've stretched it out for years, but this says this can happen at a rapid pace. So that's good. The next card for that question is uh, the moon. Secrets being revealed. I mean, that's perfect. That's a there's no more say the moon is just that secrets being revealed so yeah a rapid pace secrets being revealed and what's the last card for whether he'll have to release that information the knight of swords you know the knight is the uh, is the uh, fighter in the royal suite swords are truth and justice and rules and law so that says yes he's gonna have to release that information now this said it's gonna happen at a rapid pace so let's go back and ask right now um, if, let's try to back that up. Let's say, will that information be released uh, soon? And will that information for Steve Bannon uh, that the he's been subpoenaed for, will that be released soon? I'm just going to pull one or two cards to begin with. One card to begin with, and we'll see how that turns out. Will that information be released soon? The Hermit. Okay, so the Hermit uh, speaks to us of introspection, uh, being careful before you take another step. One more card. Will that information be released soon? And this is the Seven of Swords. And the uh, Seven of Swords speaks to us of thievery and um, just that, stealing. Uh, and look, this these uh, swords uh, are being snuck off with by this fella. And then one more card. Uh, will it happen soon is the nine of swords which are nightmares you know i just say that this is going to be nightmares for steve and uh, the cards i think didn't want to repeat themselves because they told me in that first three cards that yeah this is coming fast with that chariot and this is going to be a nightmare for for bannon love that so uh let's see is uh steve bannon going to suffer some sort of a um, a conviction 
or a um, have to pay for somehow uh, in a legal way for his uh, participation in any of that. Will Bannon have to pay for in any way uh, legally, you know, in, uh, for his participation uh, in that situation? Uh, let's get uh, six cards and uh, see if this just gives us an idea of where Steve's Bannon responsibility lies in this. So six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Let's see what this story is going to be told about Mr. Steve Kevin Bannon. Signifier card for this is the Ace of Cups. And you know, the Ace of Cups, uh, cups are emotions, uh, passions, um, really your convictions, but for some reason this just made me think of tears. And I just think this is a great big Ace of Cups of tears, Steve Bannon's tears. Challenge to that is the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles, the challenge to that cup of tears is this uh, this Nine of Pentacles where this woman is completely awash in all the value that's required. Okay, so this has to do with the commission. So the challenge to Steve Bannon's tears are the value that that commission has. The uh, base of this reading, uh, the chariot. So now the cards have repeated themselves. Yeah, this is coming on without too much delay. All right. Pass to this reading is uh, the magician. Okay, so we're kind of maybe switching over to the to the January sixth commission, where they've got all the tools available to them to make this happen. Oh, please! I hope they do. I hope they use all the tools that they have available. In the sky, of this reading is the King of Cups. Uh, the King of Cups is really the King of Emotion, of Passion. This just tells me this is a very, for this commission, a very emotional, emotionally, you know, a wash uh, situation that this King of Cups is going to be in, in control of. And then the final outcome for that is going to be the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is just complete and utter downfall. It's a stop. It's a dead stop. And nothing else is going on after this. So, yeah. Mr. Steve Bannon is going to be caught up in this, and uh, I don't think he's getting out of it. So that's what I've got for this reading. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.